Satuto, 1,000 guineas, up on the outside on the extreme left, loving claim. Uh, Chatouche is up with them, and uh, clearly none the worse for lashing out. Tarskin sits third and pulling hard the outside. Through next to the rails, Astrocard is showing plenty of pace, exclusive with it, and JG in the white and blue. Daunting Lady holds a good position. Cape Verde sits midfield, jive midfield too. Forum held about the back, another fantasy towards the back. And they go through the first uh, furlong and a half, and as they come down to the three, uh, the five furlong marker, it's JG on the outside of exclusive one and two. Then next to the rails, Ashka car probably just uh, heads them off now, with Jive sitting four, Daunting Lady five, and then uh, Cape Verde in six, Loving Clay on the outside uh, with uh, Chartouche. Written along already is uh, Taras gone now. Towards the back is Regal Revolution, also towards the back Forum and uh, Crazy Mental. They come down past the halfway stage, and as they do so, it's exclusive uh, with a blue cap, JG. Next to the rails, Ashrakart, jive with them. Here comes Cape Verde with a run. Loving claim, ridden for all she's worth in the midfield position and making no progress. Green cap on the outside, Chartouche, but Cape Verde uh, makes this too far on that move and comes through to take the race shortly. Cape Verde into the lead, too exclusive in second. Chartouche is back in third, Ashrakart fourth, and the Sagitta 1,000 guineas is all over. She moved badly in the market, but watch her come home. This is Cape Verde, two, three, four, clear, up towards the line. Cape Verde for Godolphin, and Cy Vincent final classic jigsaw in place. Cape Verde wins, a blanket for third. Leave that for the judge with Cloud Castle, Chartouche, an exclusive all in uh, places for third. The field trailed back to the madam at the start, Taros gun. It's a very fast time, look at that. It's understanded, and this filly found exclusive uh, acceleration and goes onto the honor board of excellence. And very, very uh, good performance indeed by Cape Verde to win it. It's a very close call indeed, and it might take the judges here, Jonathan Dimsdale uh, and uh, Jane Stickles, some time to sort that out. And that really is close. Let me nominate them for you. At the top of the picture, we've got number four, Cloud Castle. In the middle of those three, number 14, Chatouche. And at the bottom, number seven, Exclusive. But that's a desperately close call for th second, third, and fourth place. But look how far this Cape Verde is clear. Well, all the disappointment for the last couple of days for the Godolphin team will be just distant memories now because this filly would have lifted their spirits no end put in a really impressive display in this second classic of the season. She was bought from Robert Sankster just prior to running in the Cheveley Park where she was thought to be in season. First 1,000 guineas, another classic. Yes, we still got one to go to Derby, but uh, it's a great relief. We knew she was good. And she proved that she's a superstar. She's so cold and relaxed, and uh, she's a real professional. I'd just like to take the opportunity to say thank you to all the boys that got off. They've done a great job, and the lads, and the lasses. And for you, it's another big race. Are they all really special when you go past the post? Y yes, they are. They are very special. Uh, I mean, the hype has been going on for the last uh, five weeks. We knew we had something to prove. Center part didn't run too great, but uh, we knew this one was good, and uh, now we can look forward and go for the Oaks. And one word to sum her up. She's uh, brilliant, she is. And you're not so bad yourself. Well done. Okay, I'm just a passenger. <laughs>